Hey guys, it's Sharon with Little Britain Company, and I'm back finally. Um, I'm gonna move this camera over a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so I'm sorry I haven't been around for a few days. Um, you know that my daughter was here. We just had such a good time with her, and she's such a beautiful person inside and out. And um, anyway, having her here was a joy. So she went back. Today's Thursday. She went back Tuesday night. So we were there and um, I had pre-prepped some videos and some of them you saw her in, um, or at least one where she peeked in, but uh, she decided she didn't want to be on the video. Um, only I think only because it's a little bit cramped in here and we couldn't get another chair in here for her. It would have been really cool, but we also didn't have time. So while she was here, she wanted to go shopping. Shocker. I know. Who would have thought? <laughs> and we did. So uh, today I'm going to show you kind of um, a few things she brought with her for us. Um, and then some of the things I picked up while we were out and about. She is a very good shopper. She can shop for England. Uh, <laughs> she, she beats me. I can't believe it. She can keep going. It's just something. Well, she's also 24. So <laughs> about to turn 25. So, uh, anyway, we had a great time. It was wonderful. It was heavenly having her here. But now I'm back with you all, and I missed you too. And uh, and I wanted to get something good ready for you. So I thought I would show you some of what we got. So we went to we went shopping at different places, um, and uh, <clears throat> we went to. Uh, we, went, we went to lots of places. I'm pretty sure what I have in front of me is not all of it. I'm going to show you what I can, <laughs> what I can still grab. And, um, yeah, anyway, also, we well, we went to thrift, that's what I wanted to say. So we also went to thrift stores. Uh, she, like me, likes a good bargain. And also, um, we both really like the idea of, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. Um, it starts with, you know, reduce and reuse. And um, you can also get such great deals at thrift stores so we went thrifting that was one of the things she asked to do while she was here and we did it and we enjoyed every minute of it M minute of it meaning meaning okay yeah sure that 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 right there um so anyway i'm going to show you that and then um coming up i actually in the meantime while she was here two timu halls came in <laughs> so <laughs> we'll um i'll be sh th those are coming so um expect some rapid videos. I do try to get a video out to you pretty much every other day. Um with this this week being a bit of an exception. So, I'm going to start by showing you what she brought to us. Actually, um so a little bit of it. I'm um, just a couple of things. So, she is so sweet. She knows that uh for little Brit and myself because of our gluten issues, our celiac issues, um you know, there's there's very limited food here in the states. Uh at least when you go into a grocery store, there's very limited food. For us and what is there is very expensive here's here's an example we used to be able to buy a loaf of bread for six dollars and now i'm looking about that uh, back at that thinking what a deal that was like you know six months ago not even um went to the grocery store today and a loaf of gluten-free bread which is about half a loaf of regular bread nine dollars wow um so think the food in the uk food in europe for people with celiac is better priced because there is there are some you know government programs that insist that you not you know re wreak havoc on the only food people can eat <laughs> uh but sweet girl that she is she actually brought us some treats because you can't get you know there's a lot of treats you can't get here so she brought in uh the jaffa cakes this my, i'm i'm wondering if that's that should show up correctly hmm let's see Okay, I had to check, but it looks like it's all working properly. Thank goodness. All right, so she brought us in this. She actually had like half of her suitcase full of uh, British food that we all miss and British food that we can't get. Um, so she brought her dad prawn crackers. If you've never had those, that's something that you get normally. When you buy Chinese food in England, it usually can come with the meal and or I guess now you order it separately. But they're really good. They do taste like prawns. Um, and then, so the other thing she got, you can see we've already eaten it. <laughs> These were so good. Over the course of a week, um, Little Brit and I uh, shared these, says she was bringing those to us. So this is just a couple of things that she brought to us, but um, <clears throat> there's some in the other room. She brought us true crumpets. Oh. Walburton crumpets, if you've never been to England. When you go, 
go to the grocery store, go to Sainsbury's or Tesco's and get the, I think she went to Sainsbury's. I think they sell them at both. Walburton crumpets. They're so good. Slather them in butter. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry. I'll, I'll have my time later. Um, and then, um, she, uh, she did something for, uh, that I asked her to do. Um, she picked up her little brother, this, uh, England, um, let's see. And yes, he's okay with me showing it. Um, he, she picked up this shirt for him because all of his other, um, rugby shirts, uh, the, the true British rugby shirts, you know, and here we sell rugby shirts, but they're really just like striped and they're not necessarily rugby, rugby. Um, I keep saying that, you know, we have rugby teams in the, in the U.S., but not as many. Um, anyway, she picked him up a British rugby shirt, which was pretty awesome. She bought him a, um, an adult small, not because he's not a big kid. I mean, you saw him in the videos. Um, he's not a big kid, but he is tall. And actually when we had, um, little Brit and his 24, almost 25 year old sister stand back to back, she's like this much taller this much <laughs> so, he's, he's tall kid and he's 12 so he's got plenty of growing years to do we certainly believe i mean right now he's edging up on us she's five four on five nine so five more inches last year he grew seven inches um because we have like a thing in the kitchen where we measure him anyway so uh that's what she brought for us and then oh she also brought this for him Let me show you this one um so it's a really beautiful because uh, Little Bert really likes to dress up. He likes to wear coat and tie. Very much so. I love it. <laughs> I'm not going to say no to that. Um, so she bought him this really nice cufflink um, set from Cornwall, which is where uh, where that side of the family is, is from. Um, uh, his grandfather and uh, grandmother um, on that side, were, um, both born in Cornwall and their history stretches back through Cornwall. I don't know. They, they can they can immediately trace their history back to like the ten hundreds. Um, so it's kind of cool. So they're very much Cornish. Um, yeah, just saying. Uh, so they so she bought those for him, which was really really lovely. Um, and then um, and then his uh, grandma and grandpa sent us both both Little Brit and myself, um, things from the coronation, the recent coronation. Uh, but they also sent him these. These are so cool. These come in their uh, weekly uh, newspaper. And they are these, you know, full history, little things that, you know, all these history, almost like the comics, I think there's things to do in here. I remember when I was young, we had things like this. But in England, they still do it, which is kind of cool. And it's all very much British-centered. It's British history. Um, it's all very British-centered. So the British Civil War. Uh, anyway, so really, this these are super cool. And he loves these. He had some from um, last time we visited. And they're just, they're really cool. So I thought I would show you the coronation items that they, that, um, they sent for us. So for Little Brit... Um, they sent one of the mugs. This is so cool. And uh, and they sent him <laughs> Union Jack. Now, of course, the Union Jack, which is such a symbol of England, is not actually the British flag. It's, it's not the, it's not England's flag. It's the UK, is it? Um, always interesting. And then they uh, they sent this to me. King Charles III. This, I mean, it's just really nice since we couldn't, you know, be there this summer. Um, we would have loved to have been, but this is not the year for it. Um, and then this one. So they got us a nice, there's a nice little assortment. And then um, they knew I would want this, which is really sweet. So the, um, the nice, um, it got such a good feel to it. I just, uh, I have lovely in-laws. Um, so I'm very lucky. I love them both. And they sent this. 
which is kind of funny. It's a dish towel. So, um, and they've sent these to me before and I, I try not to use them as dish towels. So I have some, uh, we used to live in Swindon. Um, and I have one, if you, if you're not familiar, you'll have to look at, it. I cannot explain it, but I have a dish towel with the magic roundabout on it. And, um, we have t-shirts with the magic roundabout. So if you're unfamiliar with magic roundabout, take a look. It's hilarious. I've driven it. It, yes, it's all about, uh, it's all about roundabouts. Um, and then, um, put it in this lovely bag. I, this is the cutest daggone bag. This is the cutest grocery bag. So these were lovely. I'm gonna put these aside and, um, just very sweet. I actually think that, um, I really think that, that Ashley bought those for, for a little bit. Um, okay. So I put those things aside for just a second and, uh, we're not actually going to keep the boxes, but I thought I would show you some of the interesting things, um, that they, that, uh, that she brought in for us is lovely. And then, um, so her suitcase was about, uh, her big suitcase was about halfway full when she flew in. It had the food in it and she put a few clothes in it. She didn't want things to like get crushed and stuff. On the way back, we could barely close it. <laughs> and the funniest thing is the way we send food back and forth because there's American food that she loves. So when she's here, we fill her up like she loves kettle corn and, um, you know, the different Oreo cookies. You can't get all those there. And so when she comes to us, she always fills up on gluten-free foods for us. For us um, all right, so let's take a look at what we got. This is in random order, whatever's going to come to my my hands. I told you we went, oh, so we, we went to some thrift stores while she was here. I thought this was a fabulous find. Okay, <laughs> this. You see, there's, I mean, it's just, I believe if they're correct, this says it's 600 yards. Okay, look at the side of, I think that's possible because this is wound and wound and wound and wound and wound. It's not just this single layer. So this is so cool. Um, what I, what I would plan on doing with this is I will be cutting it into sections of, into uh, one yard lengths and I'll be including that in some of the junk journal kits coming out. And the junk journal kits should be coming out the first week or two of July. Um, and then I found, oh, excuse me. Well, uh, yeah, some, some things got moved around, but I'll show you what I did get. So this to me is, I think this is orange. So I thought this was really cute. Found that at, um, but it's, it's Elaine Bryant. I, we found it at one of the thrift stores. Um, what do you think? Can I wear this color? I kind of like the orange. And I like it for Halloween, in particular fall and Halloween. That's just, that is one of my favorite colors. I found this one. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so super, it's actually called Super Soft. And this one was Sonoma, so I, it, from Kohl's. Okay, so this one still has the tags. So this was a Kohl's one. I love this color. And when they say Super Soft, it is Super Soft. <laughs> So it's just simple. It's just a simple, almost a sweatshirt, but not. Um, it's got a little run in it. I don't care. I can fix that. Um, not really much one. See, it's got this little like pull almost. I bet a pill thing would do, would fix that. So I just really liked that. I love that, you know, I love finding things in thrift stores for a couple of bucks that still have, I mean, this was 36 originally. It still has the tags on it. So no one's worn it. Love that. I love that. Um, and then I found this one, which is, which is quite big. It's by a company called Wonderly. I don't know that company, do you? Um, and I bought it and just, I loved that it was really super big for me. Um, no idea what I just knocked over. It's okay. Um, but I love that it was super big because I like to wear, uh, and it's super long because it's so big. And I, I really like to wear leggings, um, in the, in the winter. I'm very comfortable in them, but I like super long sweaters to go with them. So, all right, that one is, here we go. Get that out of the way. Um, all right, what's next? What else did we get from the thrift stores? That's not, okay. So there's some things in here. I'm just gonna grab this. I should have turned it the other way. See, it didn't all even fit on here. And I cleaned my table off and it still didn't fit. 
So uh, we had we were in Virginia. I think I mentioned we were going to go to Virginia. We did. We were in Virginia. Saturday we were in Charlottesville, which is where I was born and raised. And uh, my brother still lives there, and he and his wife were celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary. It was wonderful. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful afternoon um, up in a vineyard. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Sorry. Uh, but we were at, up at this vineyard, and it was it was just a beautiful afternoon. Um, but but it was it started at 5, so we went up early so Ashley and I could go shopping, you know? So we hit a bunch of the thrift stores because Virginia, because Charlottesville is kind of a well-to-do area. Not kind of. It's a very well-to-do area. They're actually really pushing out. Um, it's like the entire town is now uh, gentrified. And uh, it wasn't like that when I was growing up. So we were driving through neighborhoods when, you know, when I was growing up. We're not. And um, that's always, a that's it's a double-edged sword. It just is. But anyway, we went to one of the uh, one of the thrift stores and found these three. I was so excited to find these because I use this in lots of things. Um, but I really needed more of these kind of storage. And I have bought some similar ones from Timu. I think they were under a dollar, but these were 99 cents. So I snatched those puppies up and put them behind me. And I lucked into, which is not common, um... I lucked into some golden books, which is really exciting. Um, this one I've never seen before, and I know it's ripped, but, you know, when I do the, the journals, I can fix that. Um, the Barbie one. And if you all have been with me through some of the other, um, the hauls in the past, I did a, a Dollar Tree haul, and uh, there were some Barbie items in it. Well, it was like Barbie paper type items that I was thinking about using in a junk journal. And someone suggested, why don't you just do a Barbie junk journal? And I thought, well, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> so now I have one. Um, and the Thomas the Tank Engine, that was really cute. And then the Tickle Book. Uh, these are, it's just really exciting when you find them. And some of those were just 10 cents. There was a Goodwill that was doing a deal on their children's books. And so many of the um, thrift stores have just hiked their prices through the roof. Honestly, their prices are becoming more expensive than the regular person can afford. And I will tell you, and I will, if I could find it, I would link it, but I doubt I can find it again. There was a short that someone put out talking about how mad she was at the thrift store. She found a... Um, an old vanity, it was missing in the mirror. It was clearly not in the best of shape. It was going to need a full revamp to be reasonable. And she's someone who does go to thrift stores to refinish furniture for many reasons. Some of them, you know, the ones I talked about, we want to, re, you know, reduce our footprint in the world. We're going to reuse some of the things that are out there. Anyway, so she went through there. And I know um, when I'm looking at it, I was thinking, oh, that's going to be like 10 or $20. That's going to be nice and easy. That thrift store wanted a $150. It was, it was missing knobs. It was missing the mirror. It needed a full refinish and $150. I just, um, I've noticed some of the places where I buy books or where I bought books in the past. Recently, um, they used to be, they were a place where I could go and sometimes I would get 25 to 75 cent books. Perfect. Perfect. Especially when I was buying them for the media center. They now only all of their kids' books were now $1.25 just to start with. And that included the little golden books that used to be 25 cents. And all I, I don't know why thrift stores are raising their prices to the extent... That particular one I'm talking about... Um, sorry, there's like something in my eye. Uh, has... Um, um, uh, they don't... They, they do not pay anyone. Everyone who goes... Everyone who works there is a volunteer. And then everything is donated, so the only overhead they really have is the um, is the building, which I also think is donated by the owner and uh, by the person who owns it. They are religious; they do want to, you know, they do use the money that they get to fund, um, you know, outreaches and things. Uh, as long as people are interested in that, I'm all I'm fine with it, but. Um, you know, so why the big giant price hikes? And their clothing was like six to ten dollars for each item of clothing. And I'm just not used to that at thrift stores, and I think that um, you know they're not going to be what they once were. So we're good or bad.
that's my two cents. That's just my two cents. Um, by the way, talking about things, uh, these are, here's today's Timu earrings. I can't get too close here. I'll, I'll get it closer for you. I really like these. These are so pretty. Can you see that? I'm probably, not, I can't actually see where my hand is. Let me do it that way. There we go. These are really nice. They're really kind of thick. They're like sandwiched. Um, I like this. All right. Enough of my being on my high horse. Um, okay, so then I found uh, I found these colored index cards. This was a Target brand, 59 cents. That's a good deal. Um, I like using the uh, colored ones in junk journaling. I was super excited to find this. This was originally, originally $16.95, and I got it. I think this was like 10 or 25 cents, and it ne it's never been used. No one's ever used it, so... Um, I, I just thought this was this was a great find because I will use it. I mean, I'll, I'll use that and cut out the patterns and use it. So that was a cool one. This, from that one store, I also found a bunch of t-shirts. That's what it was. They were selling their t-shirts for like 99 cents. And they weren't all like business t-shirts. Some of them were from different companies. So I found little bit like a Hollister and um, Polo and a couple other ones. 99 cents. They're in the laundry. <laughs> um... I found this phone messages one. This was $2.99, which I think was okay. But uh, but I do like using these things for junk journaling. I just, you can stamp on these. You can do things to them. I just think that was cool. Um, I found this cute little strawberry notebook. This is from Dollar Tree and it was 69 cents. Oh, that was something else I saw. So at one of the thrift stores we went into, they had uh, some of the metal signage type stuff from Dollar Tree. You know, the plain ones that you can add something to. They had those, several of them, and they are clearly marked Dollar Tree. I mean, they're, they're clearly marked with the Dollar Tree brand, and they wanted $1.99 each. So not only were they not selling it for the same price as Dollar Tree, they, wanted, they had this huge price increase. Um, just saying. Oh, I thought I had one. So one more dump truck. Balancing, I'm balancing. And then the one that we went to that was just so good, but the price is so good, and the woman working at the checkout was wonderful. It was actually a, uh, one of the um, thrift stores I used to go to all the time when I lived in Charlottesville. Uh, but they had these. Uh, they were loose. They weren't in a package. I couldn't find a packaging for them. Um, there's like eight or something here. They're really good quality. This is heavy-duty paper. Really nice. And I thought, oh, this is, um, I can't read that. Fizz Gigs Fine Papers, Lexington, Kentucky. Anyway, I couldn't find anything. I went to the woman and I said, you know, I, some places can't even sell it to you if it doesn't have a price on it. And I asked her about it and she said, oh yeah. And so she she just included it in like the price of something else, which was great. Um, but I was thinking that this would be wonderful to include in the Alice in Wonderland albums. Get a little case. That's fun. Okay. Um... Now this little dictionary. I love pulling pages from the old dictionaries and doing different things with them. These were all, these were all I want to say, they were all well under a dollar. I mean, at least a dollar, maybe. This one was just cool. I love the older images. And again, I'll tear those out, turn them into envelopes, turn them into ephemera. This one, I thought the navigation one was cool for those, um, uh, under the sea type, oceany type um, kits I'm coming out with. So I found those. Um, this was so fun to find. This one. This is so cool. This was um, looks to me like it was probably in um, a Walmart. Some of these pictures are just super cute. And again, this is a book that I will probably tear up. Well, not tear up. I mean, I'll, I'll take the pages out and I'll include them or I'll turn them into a ephemera before I include them. Something like that. That was fun. Um, I got this family advent. This one is, pr I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I really love collecting Christmas books, so I may just keep this one intact. Um, now the book on whales. Again, something else to add into those 
upcoming journal. Let's see, I can do this. Junk journals. This was just really cool. Um, ocean. How perfect was this one? I think I found these in the store that was doing all of their children's books for 10 cents. And, you know, you can't walk away from that. And then I found this. Read in here. This just really old. It, the record is not here, but these pages are just super fun, uh, you know, older. This kind of harkens back to when I was very, very little. Minuscule little. <laughs> So you can kind of see the age in there. Um, let's see if there's an age on here. Printed in the USA. Um, not seeing a date for this one, but, oh, 76, 76. So I just thought this one was really fun and it has so many really cool bigger pages. Um, I could, I just don't even know. I mean, these are like 12 by 12, maybe even a little bit bigger. So lots of fun out of this one. I'm gonna put some of these inside here and move this out of the way for a minute. So as usual, I had planned on this being a shorter video. <laughs> I do that. <laughs> Plans are meant to be, whoa, that would have been bad if I dropped that. Broken. Okay, move that out. Um, all right, so where else do we go? So we went to, uh, she really wanted to go to Bath and Body Works when she was very little. She, uh, so anyway, I would send her, uh, before her dad and I got married, I would send her um, like the little Bath and Body Works, like the the, the really cool smelling um, hand sanitizer pieces. And uh, she was in school one time and one of the kids was not being kind and started to to demand that wasn't real that she couldn't have gotten that and she oh, yep she did and she showed proved it to them and um anyway don't tell my kids it's not real <laughs> that's so bad um these i think i picked these up at dollar tree i think i've got a mixture now going on because i mixed a few things in these are dollar tree and i thought these were not i think i've picked these up before i'm pretty sure I've, Hoarded these before. Hoarded? That's That was not the word I was looking for. It might be appropriate, but it wasn't the word. Hauled. I was looking for hauled these before, uh, but those are super cute. But I'm going to see if I can find the other ones in here. Um, oh, okay. Here we go. So uh, Little Brit really liked the smell of this um, graphite, and it was on some really good deal. I honestly don't remember. These were on really good deals. Um, you're the one. This smells so good. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. So um, shower gel, it was hard. You couldn't really find entire sections of um, lines of things, but I, I bought what was good. Cucumber melon, which is literally one of my favorite scents. It was my father's favorite scent. He loved that one. Um, and then I found some really interesting things. Now these were really, look at this cool bag. I want to say this was like 90% off. I mean, something crazy. So, 70, it was 75% off of $17.95. So, it was really, really inexpensive. I mean, this just, just put a light inside there and it's going to like really light up. Um, anyway, and this inside feels like it would be um, water resistant or waterproof. Probably. So, I love this one. That was so cute. And then I found these, which were so fun. So I just went ahead and bought a couple of these because these ended up being a dollar a piece. Um, they only had this color in this one, so it opens up. And again, you've got the really nice cork going here. And then sort of that bright green on the sides. It's, these are just so cute. I just loved these. So I bought, I picked up three of those. Um, this one was... Yeah, like 75% off. Look at the bee. Is he cute? So everything else that I've been showing you is Bath and Body Works. For Little Brit, definitely he's at the uh, pizza age. And then, um, and then Ashley found this one at the bottom of this giant jar. And she was like, oh, it's too far down there. I was like, I took the jar to the side. <laughs> I pulled everything out. 
pulled this one out, put everything back in. Uh, and she it, it, she thought it was going to be something like this because she couldn't see that. She thought it was going to be a cupcake. But when we got it out, it sits on your desk like this with this little look, plant looking thing. And this one was like 90% off. It was like $1.45, $1.50. It was, this is fabulous for my desk because I often hang one of these type things off of my lanyard, but it actually gets really heavy, especially with the hand sanitizer inside it and this and the other keys and, you know, um, things I have to have on my lanyard. So having this on my desk is perfect. I love it. So very excited about this. Okay, now onto the Dollar Tree items. So we did go to Dollar Tree as requested and I found some really cool stickers. I love the avocado. And again, I may have hauled some of these before. I don't think I've hauled all of them, but I think I've hauled the avocado. I'm pretty sure I haven't hauled this one. Although I think this one is super fun. Although I, I'm not sure I like the X'd out eyes. Those make me think of, you know, that used to be something that we would associate with death. Not loving that. Um, of lays for our summer by the pool and then let me get in here these are adorable and I'm pretty sure I've seen these before but I decided it was time for me to pick a few up and then put something cool on the inside in particular I'm thinking about the Alice in Wonderland things that I'm now working with and just I thought that was just so quintessentially Alice in Wonderland I mean I've got to have something drink me in there um so um, keep a lookout because I've got coming up in, in one of the videos, I think next week, uh, we'll, I'll be talking about doing a, an Alice in Wonderland um, exchange, uh, swap. So if you're interested in that, um, actually, if you're interested in doing a swap, an, an Alice in Wonderland swap, um, leave me a message. Just let me know, yeah, I'm interested. And then I'll have a better idea if this is something people really want to do. And then I'll go ahead and, and get that prepped and done. Um, you know, I just think that would be fun. And if I'm doing a swap, someone's getting drink me earrings. Maybe it'd eat me and drink me. Um, all right. So we have these cute, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. These are adorable. And, um, I bought two of these and you can, I want to get close enough so that you can really see these are dimensional. Can you see how they kind of come off the page? Um, let me open one because you might be getting some, some blowback there with the lights. Look at how cool those are. I mean, they really are. Um, those are just super cool. I bought two of those just because I thought they were really, really neat. And um, so I also picked up these gummies, similar type thing. They're used the same material. Whatever that material is, it almost feels like, um, if you ever did the shrinky thing, shrinky dinks, I'm definitely aging myself now. Um, if you ever did the shrinky dinks in the oven, that's kind of what these feel like. And they definitely have that that dimension to them, but they also have kind of an outline of the animal. It's so cool. Um, so I got those and then I picked up these. Same, same thing, almost like the shrinky dinks. So those, I thought those were really cool. I don't think I've hauled those before, um, but I definitely wanted to haul them this time. Um, oh, actually, I think I've shown you this stuff. I don't know if I have, if I've shown it to you before, there was another bag out there and I was like, have I shown people this? If I have, oops, if I haven't, Hey, look, <laughs> sorry, I think I might have, but oh well, cause I hadn't put it away. And then Ashley was coming there. So much stuff we were going on. So, um, I picked up two sets of these and they did not have a Navy blue and I really wish they did a Navy blue or this color blue would be perfect. Um, for 4th of July, but I also really like these for some of the um, uh, pin cushions I've been working on because you can put the pin cushion kind of over the top almost like a cupcake and that kind of gives you that cupcake feel to it. So I really like that one. I picked up these for Little Brit for this summer. Just something fun. These grab a bubbles um, so he can still be a kid. These are supposed to not disintegrate. I saw these, picked up two of them and haven't seen them since. Because this, everything in here was definitely more than a week. You've probably already seen it. But I thought this guy was just super cute. He is just so adorable. He's going to go outside and he's going to be peeking out for people. My husband will appreciate that. 
And then I found these to go with. I wanted to pull these and see how good they were. I thought these might be really cute in the um, in the ocean junk journals. So you can kind of see it. They're upside down. So those are cute. And then, I know I picked this stuff up when I was with Ash. These LOL uh, dolls. I have shown these to you before. I grabbed another pack of these. Um, just because they are super cute. I love kind of the, the version of them. Um, okay. Um, so let's show you these. Found, this is so cute. Pig Sly. Uh, found this set. I like all of it. Well, at least I like all of that. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not actually crazy about the letters generally. They don't do a whole lot for me. But these and the dimension of them, I will say on stickers, especially dimensional type stickers, um, Dollar Tree has Timu beat, hands down. Because I've never seen dimensional stickers on Timu. Now, I ordered some that will be coming soon for a Christmas in July Timu haul that'll be coming up. Uh, so I ordered some that I think might be dimensional. We'll see. Um, and then I thought these were just so cute, the little turtles. These are really cute. And again, they have dimension to them. They have a depth to them. Um, oh, I picked up this. I don't need it, but I just thought I love it. I just love this look. And it won't hurt me to have, you know, a little like, I can certainly make plenty of these and I have, but I just really liked the look of this one. And this is like um, fake leather. Uh, so I do like that because it's going to have better, it's going to have some really good wear and tear uh, capabilities. I found, oh, I didn't put any on today. Huh, no wonder my lips look so funny. Um, I found another one of these lip smackers. This um, uh, cherry cola, um, this is the Coca-Cola cherry lip smacker. And I love this one. I bought one, I'm almost out of it because normally I put it on before I see you all. <laughs> and so I wanted to find another one. And uh, that was the first time I had seen one. Okay, and then I found these. Okay, these smooth smooth lift. Um, these are makeup removers, but I use them, well, they're cleansing cloths. I actually use them at night now. I started using them. I'm really liking, I'm liking the effect that, that I'm getting from them. These have um, collagen cleansing. There's a collagen cleansing cloths with peptides, um, hyaluric acid, and squalane. I don't know what squalane is. I should look that up by Global Beauty Care. So um, I'm liking these a lot. So I didn't know if I could find any more, and we did find those. I think we, I think we found those in Charlottesville because we had to pop into a Dollar Tree. So I also found some more material. I think this one's really cute. I think this one's really cute. I think it's it's candy, but it's candy mixed in with lemon and lime slices. Possibly the candy lemon and lime slices. I just thought this was really cute. And I think this could probably do for, um, this might be able to work for a Christmas theme. Like if you're using those kind of bright colors for a Christmassy theme because of all the candy kind of built into them. And this one just reminded me of lemons. I just thought this was really pretty really pretty. It made me think of Kate. So Kate, if you're, if you're listening, does this remind you of you? Let's see. Um, okay. What's next in here? Oh my God, it's hot. It gets so hot in here. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Okay. So I also picked up this cute, um, Square. I just, uh, I thought this was really nice. You know, back to school is going to be, <laughs> we just finished school last week. Just, and I actually went into school yesterday because as soon as Ashley left, I went back in to finish some things up. Um, but, but everybody's got back to school. <gasps> I was in Hobby Lobby the other day and they already have Christmas. Like several aisles of Christmas and fall are already out. And all I could think was, guys, it is too soon. <laughs> Stop it. That's not the hot. Stop it. Don't do that. Um, actually, it's too hot in here even for a Cupcake, who was unwilling to be a diva to today. She was like, no. Actually, she was very much a diva because she said, I am not. No. No, thank you, Mama. 
<laughs> okay, I was just gonna have her come in and say hi. Uh, this is so cute. I love this little birthday fabric. I'm gonna do some, uh, maybe a couple of cute little, uh, cute little birthday bags. I just thought that would be really sweet for someone, you know, in your child's birthday. Something fell on my foot. Chakra that I got all this art. Okay, so then I opened it without even showing it to you. So then I found, I just opened this, these alphabet mat, mix and match, and I wanted to see if these would be good for junk journaling. Let's take a quick look. Okay, so they are heavy duty puzzle pieces. These are really cute. Honestly, if Little Brute was still learning to read, I would use these. Cause I think these, I like the, uh, I like, I really like the way that these work together, how a child would have to like find them and mix and match and do that. So there's a whole, you know, the whole series of those in here. Um, I really like these and these are perfect for John journaling. Um, they're a little bit heavier, so they'll fit in a pocket and give it some really interesting um, dimension and depth. So those are cool. And along those lines, so I found the alphabet one and I found, I'll show you before I open it, the rhyming words one. I really haven't seen these before. Um, if I can get into it. So we stayed at a Hilton True in Richmond. We left Charlottesville, drove to Richmond, and then stayed at the Hilton True for two nights and then uh, went to King's Dominion in between there. It was just really, really nice. And the hotel was lovely, but freezing, freezing. It, was, it really was a lovely hotel. It really was. But when I went down to get like some extra blankets, because I in particular was, I you know, boiling hot during the day and freezing at night, super fun. Um, but when I went down to get a blanket, the, the woman, the, the very, very nice staff, and she came out and she said, I'm sorry, this is all we have. And it was like a sheet. And I said, y'all don't have any like warm blankets? She said, I, I couldn't find any. Poor lady. I said, it's fine. It's fine. So I went upstairs. <laughs> anyway, because we couldn't, um, we couldn't get the heat to reset properly in the room. So I wake up at 3 a.m. and I was like, oh, 3 a.m. Anyway, um, Look at this cute one. So we've got car star, rose nose, bed sled, cake rake. These are just so cute. And they are they are heavy duty. I mean, they feel like puzzle pieces. So they're real, I like that one, bell shell. Um, I can actually, you know, these are gonna be really cute in junk journals. As in a pocket in a junk journal, just a really cute little thing to pull out, especially when you kind of match it with the theme. So my, I don't know if you can see, you probably can, you probably have no problem seeing that under my eyes is just super dark. So I'm always looking for ways to fix that. So I decided to try this under eye mask. My daughter suggested this when she thought, she said, okay, we give it a try. Oh, look, there's another one. Animal babies. Let's see what we got in this one. Let's see if it's as cute as the other. The other ones are adorable. These are fabulous. Found these, of course, with the uh, teacher items. Let's see. Some of these are already apart. So, <clears throat> oh, that's cute. So lion and cub. And the back says lions are part of the big cat family. They cannot purr. Oh, I like the information. Pig and piglet. A male pig is called a boar. A female pig is called a sow. Fawn and deer. Deer are excellent swimmers and jumpers. I like how it gives sort of additional information, but it's not always the information that we would think. Okay, these are really fabulous. Who is the maker of these? The maker is creative. But it's distributed by Greenbrier, so it is a Dollar Tree item. These are really nice. And again, if I was, um, if Little Brute was still learning, if he was that the right age for these, um, they say three and up. I started teaching him, you know, we started talking about alphabet when he was, you know, I don't know, before one. Um, so, uh, but I, but th those puzzle pieces are, they're substantial. Um, so if you had a one-year-old, it says three and up. Um, with my one-year-old, I would have trusted it. Everyone has to really make that decision themselves. <laughs> I'm going to put that disclaimer out there before I say something I shouldn't. Um, 
but they are big substantial pieces that I'm pretty sure would, you know, if you have the tube that you can test sizes, this would not fit in that tube. They would be big enough that it. Anyway. Did y'all see that? Um, I did pick up two more of these. I had taken all the other ones that I purchased. I know I've hauled this one before. All of the other ones that I purchased, I took to school. Um, to, for the kids to use when they have their, um, when they're using the, the glue guns, which we do a lot uh, when the kids are making things. So that was fun. I did pick up. So somewhere, here it is. This holds this. And although I don't normally use the sponges, I mean, I, I could probably use it for something with, I don't know. I just like it. I don't know. But look. Look how cute that is. Especially since the sponges are going to get a little bit bigger. Um, I'm sorry. This is one of the, and they have the pineapples and they of course have the outer and then they have the, and they had the strawberry. Ashley went home with the strawberry set. Oh my gosh. These, this is one of the coolest things I've seen Dollar Tree do. I just think it's great. I think it's Dollar Tree. Let me make sure. Let me look at the box. Um, yep. It's Dollar Tree brand. And, uh, and then the last one. One second. I'm back. I started sneezing uncontrollably. I don't know what I smelled. Um, okay. A couple little more things. Uh, we just needed sponges. So I grabbed these. I like these. Um, Big Brit doesn't. He has his own ones that he likes. Uh, but I really like these when I'm doing dishes. And then I bought these, these patty squares, to see if they would be any good for junk journaling. Let me pull one out. So you've got a waxy side here, and you've got the other one. And uh, yeah, I kind of think this would be fun. And honestly, it's the same size as a, a piece of origami. So for $1.25, and there were 100 sheets in here, that's not a bad deal. And we may actually use them for hamburgers at some point. Um, last, uh, the last thing I have to show you today is actually, I forgot. I had it, it was on the table, and I um, missed it. But I have to show you, we picked this up. We were at, where were we? Uh, um, TJ Maxx, I think. No, no, we were at Burlington. We were at Burlington and found this amazing mug. I love this. This mug is amazing. So it keeps items warm. It's got the nice, um, push it back up again. It's got this nice uh, rubberized piece on it to kind of push them down and in place. And then look, I'm oh, sorry, right there, Queen Bee. <laughs> I just thought this was really nice. Now, yeah, it does pretty much come right off. It's not gonna, it, it's going to adhere enough to keep your, you know, your items warm. But um, anyway, <laughs> I just love this one so much. So that's it. That's what I've got. That was our shopping. Um, I, I, I know that there was more somewhere, um, but I think it's all been dealt with and put away um, faster than I could grab it and, and haul it to the side for y'all because Big Brit was on a cleaning spree yesterday. Hmm. Uh, he could not be stopped. So uh, he was moving fast, that man. Um, I'm not going to complain. He was on a cleaning spree. Go. <laughs> Just, yeah. Um, anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Um, I will be back with you in a day or two. And uh, the next one's Timu Hall. Yes, there'll be earrings. Yes, there'll be craft. And yes, there'll be a lot of other things. There's, it's a really, th this next one is a very eclectic haul of stuff from Timu. So, um, anyway, that's it. Thanks so much, friends, for being with me today. I have to tell you how much I enjoy being with you every time I come on. I was really missing it. So I was like, I've got to do a video today. Um, cause I, you all respond to me so well. And some of you I've become, quite close to um and uh you mean a lot to me and so when I get on here and talk to you I know I'm just you know sharing my week with my friends and you know that feels really good and I hope it feels good to you too so that's it 
that's it. Have a great week. Cheers.